Hello guys, it's Elsie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do my top, well actually all my summer fragrances. I have the one from last year if you wanna go and check that out. So it's under a playlist that's called, okay, so it's called fragrances. That's the playlist. So super simple and you can go and check it out if you wanna watch the one from last year. But I do, I'm gonna do this actually every single year. So it's kinda like an updated list for my summer fragrances i'm gonna do another one for my peachy fragrances so it's like a whole different vibe but that video is coming up so let's start with this video already but first subscribe to my channel like this video comment down below follow me on instagram and start with the video already okay let's start with this one this is the i always forget the name of this i don't know why i think this is lancome lea belle le clot so this is the bottle which is my favorite bottle actually. I have the original La Via Ville, but that one I completely use that one for the winter time. This one to me, it's more on the summertime. The notes for this one are mandarin orange, bergamot, freesia, orange blossom, white flowers, iris, jasmine, sandbag, vanilla, sandalwood, and patchouli. I'm getting all these notes from the Fragrantica website so this one to me it's pretty similar to my favorite perfume from all time which is chanel coco mama soul because they both have orange blossom which is one of my favorite if not my favorite note ever in fragrances every time it has orange blossom i'm just like i'm just gonna love it so they smell pretty similar in my opinion but still it has like, almost the same dna from the original La Via Velle because it has patchouli and vanilla but since it's like a sweet fruity I feel like this works more towards the summer obviously and it's still really um, classy and sexy in my opinion it also has a bergamot which I feel like every time it has bergamot it just adds like a little bit of this like um, summer beachy aspect to it it's not super beachy because if not this will be in my beachy fragrances but it's definitely a summer fragrance to me almost like a summer night type of fragrance because it's still really beautiful and sweet and just like for those sweet summer hot nights in my opinion okay so next we're gonna continue with this with this one because we were just talking about this one which is my favorite perfume from all time this is coco mademoiselle which is from chanel obviously i feel like everybody knows this perfume at this point so this one has orange mandarin orange bergamot orange blossom turkish rose jasmine mimosa ylang ylang patchouli white musk vanilla vetiver tonka bean and Bupunax, which I don't know what that means but orange blossom with some florals white florals and then at the end you have the patchouli which you do get from here in fact that's what making this like super strong and super long lasting it's extremely sexy in my opinion you do spray one or two times and that's it don't over spray this because it is super strong you can like detect this whenever somebody like wears this you can already know she's wearing this because it smells so familiar like i know a lot of people have this one in their collection and my mom even has this one because she really liked it for me so she got it for herself i literally don't care <laughs> like anybody can wear anything and everybody buys this because it is a good fragrance and it's always going to be my number one favorite ever signature fragrance to go out for a special occasion for my birthday i wear it every single birthday i wear it for my graduation day and it smells so beautiful like i said orange blossom mixed with patchouli and it's so beautiful for the spring and summer okay so the next one is clinique happy and this is the bottle this one has notes of orange blood grapefruit indian mandarin Bergamot, apple, plum, lily of the valley, freesia, orchid, rose, mimosa, lily, magnolia, musk, and amber. This to me smells so freaking beautiful. This is definitely always going to be my collection. I am obsessed with this one. So this one totally smells like oranges. Like it smells almost like an orange juice, creamy orange juice in my opinion. That's the, way, the best way I can describe this. It's really creamy and sweet and beautiful. And I love it every single summer. I remember I tested this one because I used to buy skincare from this brand clinic and it helped me by the way it helps a lot with if you have acne i used to have acne when i was a teenager and i was buying skincare from this brand and then this lady offered me a sample of this perfume and i loved it so freaking much that i 
begged my mom to buy me the freaking perfume for my birthday because I was still a teenager, so I didn't have literally my own money. So I I was just obsessed with it that she gave it to me. And I don't think it's that expensive. I think it's only like $40. I think if I'm not mistaken and I will always continue to purchase this. I think this is like my second bottle and I haven't tried any other. I think they have more um, scents on this brand but so far this is my favorite. It's so beautiful. Okay, so next one that it is a little bit similar to Clinique Happy. This is Tummy Girl from Hilfiger. This is the bottle. This one has notes of Accrediting to Fragrantica, Apple Tree Blossom, Camellia, Mandarin Orange, Black Currant, Lemon, Honeysuckle Rose, Grapefruit Lily, Mint Violet, Magnolia, Jasmine Cedar, Sunnywood, and Leather. So, this basically smells like oranges. Mandarins to be more accurate. So, I remember taking this one to Cavo. Everybody was complimenting this perfume. They were saying that I was smelling like mandarins and it does smell just like mandarins. And if you love to smell like sweet and fruity and just like oranges and mandarins, definitely try this one. It's really gorgeous. It's an oldie but a goodie and you can get at Ross for I think it's like $20 now. I don't even remember. Yes, it was actually a gift now that I remember. But it's a good one for the summer. It has, like I said, kind of like the same vibe as Clinic Happy. I personally like this one a little bit more. But this is still a good one if you want to smell like fresh cut mandarins. Okay, so this is the next one. This is Chen Chanel El Fresh. I don't know how to pronounce that. But it's the green bottle. So this one has notes of lemon, cedar, citron, water, cyxine. I don't know how to pronounce that. Pink pepper, jasmine, patchouli, wet musk, vetiver, teak wood, iris, and amber. Fresh but sweet and perfumey. It's fruity as well. And then it has the perfumey side from the patchouli and the iris. So it's really, really gorgeous. It smells so good, especially for the summertime because it's really fresh but still really sexy. And it has a tiny little bit of this cologne aspect to it as well. Okay, so this is the next one. This is... Versace Eros Perfume. I think this is the Toilette version, if I'm not mistaken. I think I liked it a lot more than the perfume, but I'm not sure. But the notes for this one are raspberry, Sicilian lemon, white currant, mandarin orange, cologne, jasmine, magnolia, orange blossom, freesia, musk, and broxen, woody notes, and patchouli. This is a really sweet, fruity, almost candy-like type of perfume, but it still has a perfumey aspect to it. It's really fresh and fruity and like almost refreshing, but to me, it's still really, even though it smells like candy, to me, it's really classy and elegant, and I love the bottle. It's so pretty. First spray, you do get the raspberry and the lemon, but I think it dries down more towards the mandarin orange. I like mandarin orange, it's really prominent it's like a really prominent and strong fruity note and then you also get the patchouli on the dry dump it's really beautiful and perfumey as well and then it's a little bit woody at the same time so i feel like it's a perfect transition from summer towards the fall time as well and it's really gorgeous i love this one so much and it's still really classy and really elegant the next one is dylan turquoise i think that's the name of it this is the bottle, which is so freaking beautiful. It has notes of mandarin essence, lemon porphyry, I don't know how to pronounce that, essence, pink pepper, black currant butt, absolute, jasmine petals, freesia, guava, clear wood, vibrant woods, and musk. Well, this one I feel like it has the same vibes as Chanel of Fresh because they both have lemon and pink pepper, which you do totally get it from. It has kind of like a cologne aspect to it. I feel like every time it has lemon and pink pepper, it gives that cologne sexy aspect to it, which I love. It makes it like really almost like classy and elegant and rich and beautiful. I feel like this smells like a rich bitch at Las Vegas or something like that. It's a floral, lemony, pink pepper type of perfume. Really sexy and really beautiful and cologne as well. This is the next one. This is Elliot Mugler and this is a packaging. This one has notes of jasmine, woodsy notes, and amber. So I recently picked this one up because at first I hated this perfume. It is weird at first. But then I remember after spraying it 
I will go to Ulta and Sephora and overspray this and stuff like that just to test it on my skin. I feel like it feels better on my skin. Like once it's on your skin, it, it just smells a lot better. So it's basically this jasmine mixed with amber, which I feel like that's what's throwing me off at first. But it just turns into this beautiful, sexy floral amber scent, which is to me pretty unique in my opinion. And I feel like it has like a summer peachy aspect to it in my opinion i don't know why but i feel like it can also be a year around fragrance i know a lot of people like to wear this one on the fall time or winter time just because of how strong and how unique and warm it is but i don't know why i don't know why i really wanted to try it for the summertime but if if i just think it's too much i would just keep it for the winter time as well so this is a new one in my collection that I'm testing out for sure. Okay, so this is the next one. This is Terra the Giorgia by Giorgio Armani. This is the packaging. This one has notes of pear, mandarin orange, bergamot, almond blossom, jasmine, amberwood, and musk. The main note in here, it's definitely pear, but it has this like almondy note added to it that's super like almost like naughty and almondy, and but still really sweet and fruity and creamy at the same time. This one, I always compare this one to Burberry Brit because they both have pear and almond and they're both really like almondy and naughty at the same time. But I feel like Brit, the Burberry Brit, I like that one more for the fall time. This one, I like it more for the summer and it's a perfect transition from summer to fall at the same time. But it has bergamot, which I feel like that's it's making me wanted to try it for the summer. So it's definitely a beautiful, warm, almondy, beautiful summer hot night type of scent. So this is the next one. This is Valentino and this is a packaging. I got the one on mini bottle. And this one, it's so pretty. I recently got this one for my birthday thanks to my mom. So this one has notes of Italian bergamot essence. Mandarin Essence, Orange Blossom Absolute, Golden Gardenia Accord, Crystal Moss Accord, and Vanilla and Tonka Bean. I definitely love the packaging of this one. That's why I wanted to get it and try it. Besides, it smells so freaking good. It smells so expensive. So it smells sweet, fruity, but it has the bergamot on the background as well, which is makes it like really sweet and creamy. It smells like a summer vacation in Italy or Greece or something like that. It's giving me those vibes. It's most expensive in my opinion as well and super feminine and gorgeous and beautiful. It is sweet but still really classy and elegant. Okay, the next one is Gucci Bamboo and this is a packaging. So this one has notes of sandalwood, vanilla, amber quartz, soft lily, orange blossom and ylang ylang. So this one to me, it smells so clean and relaxing and fresh and so so pretty i got married in this with this perfume and it smells it just brings me back so many memories to me it smells just like in, if you're in a spa day and you smell clean and just like relaxed and just like this floral notes to it okay moving on i have a more affordable option this is tempting paradise by sofia vergara so this one has notes of tropical fruits, clementine, magnolia, guava blossom, coconut milk, peony, sandalwood, musk, and benzoin. This one was a love at first sniff, definitely. It's like a sweet, fruity cocktail. Then it has the coconut milk on the background, which makes it like really, really, really creamy. And it's so sweet and fruity and so good for the summer. This is something I will take definitely on a tropical vacation because it is super tropical and super like just like a bright kind of perfume if you know what i mean so it's really beautiful it's gorgeous i love sofia vergara and i love her perfumes as well okay so we're almost done so i have a blush by rotiny one so this is very affordable you can get it at the rotiny one website so this one has passion fruit red currant and caramelized apple this is my favorite perfume from rotiny one you know how they have so many freaking perfumes 
this is always going to be my number one favorite it is a sweet fruity scent and then it has the sweetness from the caramelized apple in the background so it makes like a vanilla fruity type of scent but I feel like it also smells fresh and clean and I feel like that's coming from the red currant in here which every time it has red currant it also makes it like really bright and almost clean and fresh if, I don't know why it's just it's just giving me like clean fruity type of perfume and it's so beautiful I definitely recommend to try this one if you want more of a beautiful perfume but more in the affordable side okay so lastly I have two perfumes from Victoria's Secret so I'm gonna start with the original bombshell and this is a packaging which is so beautiful it's so classic this one has notes of purple passion fruit Sangri, La Peony, and Vanilla Orchid. I don't know why every time I wear this, I get so many compliments. And they always say that I smell so clean. And it does give like this clean vibe from it. Like I feel like it gives like clean, aesthetic girl that we love right now. But it still has the sweetness from the vanilla on the background. Last one I have, this is Bombshell Sun Drenched. This one has notes of Sunset Coral Peony, Guava Blossom, and Warm Scents. Best way I can describe this, it's almost like a salty sun skin on the beach type of thing. And it's not on my beachy um, fragrances just because I feel like this is something you can just wear anywhere, not necessarily just for the beach, if that makes sense. But it does smell like this, like, well of less um, salty skin, like, on the sun during the summer. So that's why it's in my summer fragrances. But I'll totally wear this anywhere. It smells so beautiful. It's warm. It's almost like cozy, but still it's really sweet and fruity at the same time. And it's so gorgeous. I fully recommend this one. It doesn't smell just like a body spray. I thought it was going to be just like a body spray because it is really fruity and it has wava blossom and all of that. But it still has this perfumey, sexy aspect to it. That's pretty much it for my summer fragrances. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe, like this video. Comment down below and let me know which ones are your summer fragrances. Let me know down below. Give me some recommendations and follow me on Instagram. And I really hope to see you in my next video.